Hello and uh, welcome. This is another Flash CS4 lesson. We're going to be learning about shape tweens. So open a new file. Uh, something that I didn't tell you about the last lesson is, uh, let's see, you can change your stage area. I kind of neglected to tell you because I was kind of focused on doing one thing at a time. You can change the area of this. It'll affect how big or small your stage area will look like on the web when you eventually get to that part. You can change it by going over to this window right here or wherever you put it. Edit. You can switch it. I'm going to switch it to 800 by 700 just because I prefer a bigger stage. You don't need to change this, and if you want to, you can change your background color to whatever tickles your fancy. I prefer white because it's easier. Keep this on pixels just for the sake of doing so. It'll be a lot easier. Things are more simple. Now, instead of creating a shape right away, we're going to be selecting frame 20. F5 or insert frame. Now we're going to frame one. Well, I guess you can create this shape. Create whatever shape you want, whatever color. No, I don't think you need to select it. Go to your timeline, create shape tween. Now no matter where you are on the time or timeline, your shape is not going to show up unless you're on frame one. Now, we're going to go to frame 20 and insert a keyframe. F6 or, you know, yeah. Boop. There we go. And guess what? You're going to, you can delete your shape and make a new one. We're going to make an oval and I'm going to switch it to green and switch this to red. Now, I'm going to do that. Whoops. Okay. Oh, in order to undo something, it's Command Z in case you are a computer illiterate. That's good. All right. If you are stuck, I'm sorry. I know I'm a little spastic, but yeah. Once you have the shape down on frame 20, you'll have this line, this arrow that'll point to frame 20, which indicates that the shape tween will happen. It'll basically change frame 1 to frame 20. Wherever you are, press return or enter and you'll get this. Cool, right? Yeah, lame. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Uh, you can... I don't know. You can do this with type. And I know you can. So, we're going to select frame 40. Insert a keyframe. Guess what? Oh man, frame 40. Guess what's there? Oh, your dumb oval. We'll delete that. Boom! And when it has dots, that means the shape tween's not going to happen because there's nothing at the end of the timeline. So, we're going to select type. Uh, Rumba. Let's see here. I'm going to select one of the best fonts in the whole world because every typographer and graphic designer, not advertiser, uses this font till the end of time. Uh, Helvetica. I call it new, but some people call it Noi or whatever the hell you call it. Anyway, with your type tool, you just have to click 
don't drag and click because you'll be limited to the space where you dragged. If you just click, you'll be able to type freely. Nice. And when you're done typing, you can, with the type tool, you just click off to the side. Awesome. We. All right. Even though you put type in, it'll have the keyframe, but the dots will still remain. That's because the type is type and not an actual object. In order to turn type into an actual object, you have to hit either Control B if you're PC or Apple slash Command B, which will break up the type into separate type. Do the same process again, Command B, and it will turn into an object. And look at that. There's the arrow. Now, we'll press enter and whoa! Let's do it again. Whoa! Alright. Some of you may be wondering why do I have to keep pressing enter? Is there an easier way? Well, there is. If you press command, enter, slash return, or control enter slash return, you'll get an SWF file that opens up and it loops your animation for your enjoy. Join. Enjoyment. Awesome is right. And that's the end of this lesson.